Hey guys, you saw it in the title, this video is about editing 4K video on a 12 years old computer. Stick with me, I'm not crazy. First, I bought this computer because I found it very cheap on internet, about $140 Canadian. It came with two dual cores, 2.66, 12 gigs of RAM and a crappy original graphics card, the 7300 GT. My goal with this thing was to use it as a server with a RAID array using a bunch of disks that were lying around. But because this thing is so beautiful, I got crazy and I decided to upgrade it to see if I could use it to actually work. I already have two other computers, but this is just born out of curiosity. So. What are the actual upgrades I made? First, I upgraded the operating system to 10.11 El Capitan. I know this computer is not compatible, but it's very easy to find the hack on the internet. Then I found a much better video card, especially because the 7300 GT doesn't work in El Capitan. I, I got the Radeon 5770 with uh, 1 gig of RAM. And finally, I just put an SSD in there to run the, the OS and a PCI card with a USB 3 to, to add some speed to the transfer. Is it like a new computer? Of course not. You have to make some compromises, but overall it's not bad at all for a computer this old. Compromises are, render time is much longer than a recent computer. Also, you have to edit the 4K footage with proxies, which takes a, a bit longer before you can start editing, but you know, for $300 without the, the RAID. So let's see how it does with uh, 4K footage from Sony, from a Sony A6500. This footage was converted to proxies but uh, it's, it's still the XAVCS from the camera. Uh, what, you, what you're seeing right now is the proxies playing, so you can see it's pretty smooth. Now let's look at the original media. You can see that it's uh, started a lot. Um, it's, it's, not, it's not usable, so you have to, to play the proxies. Even with the better performance setting, uh, it's not even worth it, so convert it to proxies and you'll see that it'll be pretty pretty easy to edit. And finally let's look at the, the proxies playing with the film convert uh, plugin. Without the plugin it plays very well as expected. And let's put back the plugin on. And it's pretty good, it's almost the same. So, even with plugins and uh, filters in effect, the proxies run very smoothly. And to finish this video, maybe a little tip on the uh, export. Because this thing is old and the render time is pretty pretty awful, uh, just check background render, It'll, it will help a lot when it is time to export. Uh, that said, if you have enough space uh, on the disk, but you uh, you can always remove those uh, those files uh, when you're ready to archive. So it's worth it because uh, it renders uh, in real time, so you don't have to wait that much at the end. Thank you for watching, and I hope you can find some uh, really cheap computer to to edit your 4K footage. Let me know in the comment if you have other options and uh, have a look on the internet, maybe you can find a newer version of the Mac Pro at around the same price. Uh, the 3.1 and 4.1 are a pretty good value right now, so let me know, bye!